Hello, today's tutorial is to show you the basic use of the East Cobalt IDE Screen Painter. We are going to use IDE 2014 R1 for this demo. This is the main window of the IDE, the structural view of projects, the variant project, right click, new screen program. Customer ISP is going to be the name of my new program to be saved on the screen folder. In the middle I have the screen painter view. This is the first screen, it is empty. I am selecting the screen and changing the title here in the properties area and uh, changing it to customer screen. The next thing is using this uh, palette of uh, graphical controls I am going to create some entry fields. One first entry field a second entry field and uh, also I am going to create a um, combo box okay I'm going to select these three GUI controls and right click and say I want to align them to the left and maybe I can say right click I want to make same size make same height the three of them okay they are ready now the first um, entry field I am going to change the name property and the name is gonna be SER customer ID the second entry field the name property SER customer name and the last uh, uh, combo box is gonna be for a membership type SER cost mem type and now uh, I'm going to use three labels one label here double click to change the title to customer ID and now a uh, second label and a uh, third label and here customer name for the title and the title for this label membership type okay now I am going to select the three labels right click and say I want to align them to the left okay they are ready now I will relocate all of the control fields all of the fields here I am selecting the screen to resize it a little bit okay the last thing is create a push button over here and the title of the push button is going to be save customer and I'm going to change the name SER push button save and for this button I am going to use an exception the common click exception so when it is clicked the paragraph I am going to create here with this name is going to be uh, performed so I say um, I want to inquire the values of the GUI controls and put them into variables so let me create a few variables uh, here in the working storage editor the WS cost ID x10 create a second variable WS customer name and this is gonna be x80 and the last variable I need here is um, WS um, customer membership type and that's gonna be 91 okay I have the three variables also here in the combo box I think I forgot to add some items let me uh, select the item to add property and define some items the first item uh, for the membership type is gonna be annual membership type the second item is gonna be uh, quarterly and the last item is gonna be um, trial one month okay I click OK that is ready now going back to the event paragraph I say I want to inquire the SER cost using this uh, assist box I'm going to select the first one the cost ID and the value in the WS cost using the assist box cost ID double click now I say inquire the SER cost name and the value in WS cost name and inquire the SER 
cost membership type and the value in WS cost membership type. Mm, I have all those values in variables now. I don't have a, a, a real data file uh, related to this screen program, so I am going just to display a message saying which data I am saving. Saving customer. And uh, let's use 0D0A 0 hex for a new line. And now I am going to display the WS cost ID, new line, WS cost name, new line, and WS uh, cost membership type. Okay, I save it now and I right click customer and say I want to run this program as is call application. It is going to generate the CBL, compile the CBL, and produce this object class that I am running. So the customer ID ABC123, the customer name Adam Smith, and the membership type is going to be quarterly, save customer, and it tells me I am saving customer ABC123, Adam Smith, quarterly membership type. And this is uh, how easy it is to use the basic functions of the um, IDE screen painter of uh, Iscobol 2014 R1. Thank you for your attention.